Hey guys, in today's Adopt Shop tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make advanced bullet holes. For that, we'll need a common picture of your room with a cupboard and a wall. I'll show you how to make bullet holes on a wall and a cupboard. So we'll need a actual pic of a wall which we'll get on Google Images. We'll select all by control A, copy it by control C and paste it over here. Actually this is very small so instead of expanding it and making a lot of pixel noise I'll just paste it more 8 times so that total it will become 9. Now I'll place them like this. Now for simplicity I will merge them all. Ok. Now I will just duplicate the background here. And place the bricks behind it. Now I will select the brush tool. And select the size of 60. and just randomly put a uh, white color on it. Actually it's a bit gray but not that much. Now I'll jump to the laser which has less size and I'll erase the central part. It actually doesn't mean to be the central. It can be a little bit here and there to make it look actually realistic. Now we'll be using this much tool. and smudge it. I'll increase this trend to 75%. So this is how you do it. I'll just skip the part so that you won't get bored. Now we'll go to the brush tool and select the size of the eraser which we had used and make it opacity to 25% and take the black color and make the wall a bit darker. So this is how we make bullet holes for the wall. Now I will show you how to make bullet holes for this cupboard. That is wood. I will go to the brush tool, select the black color and make sure that it is the size of the bullet hole same as the top of a wall. and just randomly put it, I'm sorry, I forgot to make the opacity 200. So we'll just randomly make a spray of blood holes. Now 
now you have to get the lightning brushes which I have given the link in the description below you have to make the cracks which happen on the wooden surface when something hits on it you can make them of different types and make sure you make it darker Try it with different angles on different layers. Now I'll press Ctrl T and change its angle. I'll skip the part for you. So I'll merge all of these layers so that it will become easier. Now actually the cracks are not black when you hit a wooden surface so I'll choose the pixels by selecting select pixels and choose a brownish color like this and just take the brush randomly 100 and just spray the color. Now I'll duplicate the layer. And press Ctrl T as free transform tool. And go to width and make it 102. And height 102. And now I'll press enter. And now I'll again select pixels, take a darker shade of green, I'm sorry brown and put it over there. I'll put this layer behind the first one again duplicate it and this time by control T I'll decrease the width and height to 98% I'll press enter I'll again select pixels. First of all, I'll take a color of the sun mica and again select pixels and paint it. Now you might be thinking this is a bit rubbish, but wait a, a minute. We'll now have to. Select the black color and a brush of the same as the bullet hole that is 31 pixels. I'm sorry, it's black color. and do it for all
so this is we made it thanks for watching do subscribe and like my facebook page thank you